All right, we're in the kitchen with Chef West Step from Red Sky Cafe in Duck on North Carolina's lovely, lovely Outer Bank. Chef, welcome to the Hampton Road Show. Good Thank morning. You. Good morning. So we have a treat this morning, venison, which actually he was just telling me you <laughs> this weekend is when uh, this happened. You went and shot it and well, you hunted know, and yeah, I went, brought I, it in. I went. I went to Wintergreen this weekend yeah. and I uh, got to the mountains of Virginia and had a great time. But a lot of times we get uh, get calls for recipes for mm -hmm. like rockfish, which is really the November, December type fish. Yeah. And then also venison. A lot of people call me and they say, hey, what do you do with venison? Wow. And I'm going to show you something to do with it that's going to be quick, easy, and anybody could do it. Okay, so we're doing rockfish and venison. And yes, I see you have a big spread here of ingredients. Is this going to be like sauce that's going to be in it? And what, these noodles over here and stuff like that? The venison I'm going to do is a venison ariana. Okay. And uh, we just changed the, the name. We did. And uh, <laughs> it's going to be with a stone ground mustard cream sauce with egg noodles very comfort food okay and the rockfish is rockfish carry and what I'm going to do is a little bit of brie cheese all of it's going to be done right here there we go Chris brie cheese Chris that'll work for that cheese yeah rackling. that'll work like cheese rackling like <laughs> we got brie <laughs> <laughs> all right and you are located in the lovely Outer Banks which I haven't been there but I'm going to have to get there we're um, in duck and I just want to let everybody know we're wide open down there wide open all right when we come back from commercial break we're gonna get started on our venison Arion and rockfish carry chef thanks so much no problem all right, welcome back in the kitchen with Chef Wes Step from Red Sky Cafe in Duck on North Carolina's lovely Outer Banks. Today we're making rockfish carry and also venison arion, which we just named that. And I threw on my little apron here because uh, I thought it would help. Dang so right. Hunter we're safety. Yes, thank you. The orange, yeah. So yes. So I'll uh, stand out. So we're going to start with uh, venison. Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay, one thing about venison is um, people say it's really gamey. And yeah. it depends a lot on how you cut it. Okay. What we got over here is this is going to be, this is my Swiss chard. Okay. Um, it's like it's, spinach. It exactly like spinach. It's sort of a cross between spinach and collards. Okay. You're probably not familiar with collards being from Alaska, right? Ah, my family's from New Orleans. I'm right. from all over. Yes, well, I've had collards. Yes. <laughs> anyway, we're going to saute that good. down. Okay. I use a little bit of kosher salt and fresh cracked pepper. All right. Okay, this is the venison loin. So basically what I did was I took medallions very thinly and used the back of my hand to pound them out. The back of your hand. Yes, because okay. if you use it, there's no fat on a venison. Okay. You know, so it's very healthy. For okay. One thing. But the th big problem is, is people say it's gamey. Mm -hmm. Thin medallions, you don't have as much gamey flavor. The breadcrumbs are a little herb encrusted, a little flour, egg wash, hot skillet. Okay. So do you suggest when they someone wants to make venison to have it real thin like that? I do. Well, for this dish, and you know, okay. the other way to cook it is the hams and stuff like that. People cook the heck out of them, you yeah. know what I mean? I mean, like stews and stuff like that. But we're making something you can make in four minutes or less. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. So we got the medallions, sort of a schnitzel style. Okay. Breaded. Over here. These are wilting down nicely. Wilting down the Swiss chard. Okay. I'm going to hit that with a little stone ground mustard. All right. Which you can get right out of the store. Okay. I'm going to hit that with a little bit of. He said this was comfort food. This too. is comfort food. We're I in like the fall, it. so yeah. I want to be coming back a couple times, I think. So what we're going to do is we're going to go right through the seasons, and then in January we're going to rock with some healthy eating. Ah, All right. Okay, I got that. I got that. I like that. So right now we're putting on the pounds for the winter. Okay. <laughs> and then you just work them off. <laughs> and work them off. Was this the cream? That's a little bit of heavy cream. Okay. Now the key is a. Uh, Kosher salt, cracked pepper. That's all I'm really seasoning that with. Okay. Okay, you got our medallions over here. These look like they don't take very long to cook. The Not at all. Boom. Okay, so they're nice and brown on one side. Like pork chop. <laughs> you <laughs> got it. Little baby pork chop. Little baby venison pork chop. Yeah, okay. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of capers. Fancy it up a tad. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of sweet red pepper. I use my fingers. The seasoning. That's all right. You wash your hands here. Yes, ma'am. A little bit of white wine. Okay. What is this over here? That? Is That's for the next up? dish. The next okay. dish? Okay. Oh, Lord. Secret? You're, you're jumping ahead of you're myself? jumping ahead of me. <laughs> Those are pears, though. Okay. And a little bit of butter. And that's that. And that. What we got here is the butter and the white wine, mm -hmm. sort of French. It's going to make a little nice sauce in there. Okay. Now, how's our pasta doing? It's looking good. Looks like an Alfredo pasta. It does that looks look really, like an really Alfredo. Good. Wow. Nice. Very. Huh? It's, it screams comfort food. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so, do you like to hunt a lot? Well, I hunt. I fish. I'm an outdoorsman. Yeah. Of all kinds. I so love all the fresh ingredients. You would love Alaska, then. I know I'd love Alaska. You gotta hook <laughs> me up up there. Okay, I'm gonna plate this up over here. One thing about is, 
is even when I'm cooking for my daughter at home, it's just yeah. me and her cooking. Okay. She'll say, okay, Dad, why are you getting so fancy on everything, no matter what we're doing? Yeah. Because my mantra is the first bite's taken with your eyes. Exactly. So when you're cooking at home, mm -hmm. don't slack on the end. Okay. You know what I mean? Make it look good. I know it's going to taste good. There's nothing in there to taste bad. Mm -hmm. You know, it's pasta, Swiss But just chart. going that extra mile for the presentation it's makes it all the better. Because it's always about how it looks at the end. And you also do catering at the restaurant. Talk a little bit about we where you're located We do catering and we do a thing called Chefs on Call where if you and your family from Alaska come down and you don't want to go out to eat, mm -hmm. you call me. We work out a menu. I come to your house. And you cook it right on spot. And I cook it right on the spot. It's well, really like you right are now. pretty amazing because we are out of time for this segment and you've already cooked it, plated it, and one we're down, ready to start one to go. on our next rockfish carry. All right, that is the venison on. High five on that one. That was good. All, All right, right, Chef. Awesome. We'll be right back in just a second. Check it over. All right, everyone. Welcome back in the kitchen with Chef West Step from Red Sky Cafe in Duck, North Carolina. We made our venison, which was our first dish, our comfort food. Played it up very, very nicely. Yes, and now we're about to get started in on the rockfish. Carrie. Yes, ma'am. All right, what do we need to and do? i got to make this good because this is namesake of Carrie over yes, there. Yes, and she... So basically... We got fresh rockfish. Okay. Okay. It's another one of those fall things. Mm -hmm. Okay. Rockfish is being caught now and through the winter. Okay. And people ask all the time, what are you doing with the rockfish? This is quick and easy. I'm just dredging in a little bit of flour. All right. I got my pan hot. We're going to brown that That's sucker. That's what, about medium to high heat? Middle? I like to keep it high? on high, but okay. it was popping a lot and I didn't yeah. want to burn you, you know what I mean? So you'd, have an, you'd have an attitude <laughs> on me. So uh, I took it off. But anyway, we're going to let that cook. Okay. Now, one thing about restaurant food, and I'm a chef, is... Um, a lot of it sounds really complicated when mm -hmm. you go into these nice restaurants. Mm -hmm. And we make it sound complicated too. Yeah. But, but a lot really of it's not. verbiage, you know? Okay. You recognize this. this yes. You can get it at the Asian market. It's sriracha. sriracha. Yes. Love it's it. a Thai garlic chili paste. Ooh. And you'll see that red on the side of plates a lot of mm -hmm. times. So it looks good and it's hot. It right is. Right here we have a little bit of mayonnaise. Okay. okay. We usually make it from scratch at the Red Sky, but I can just use it right out of the jar right okay. here. And I got it mixed with a little bit of the sriracha right here. Okay. And I'm going to hit it with a little bit of. Rice wine vinegar, just All right. a touch, mix that up. All right, what's gonna. Basically, now you have just made a sriracha aioli. So, a lot of times ah. you see, oh, we have a wasabi aioli, we have this, that, and the other, and it sounds so fancy, but basically it's a flavored mayonnaise. So, you okay. just kicked it up a notch. All right, I like this. And what we have here is, I have it in a squirt bottle, which is the way oh, I'm gonna deliver it. Let me okay. see your finger. Okay. Oop. Oh, that's. Just, just try a little bit <laughs> okay. of it. You notice it's a little spicy? Yeah. yeah. You that taste a little good. sweetness in there? Yeah, it comes out. Of, yeah, comes little out of sweetness? Yeah. That's your finger. There's really? nothing sweet at all in that sucker. Good. All right, so basically we got our fish going. Spicy. All right. Kosher salt and cracked pepper. All yeah, right. Right on top of the fish. And then I'm going to top it with a little bit of thin <laughs> sliced brie. Don't choke. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. You are good. Okay, the, oh, the brie on the rockfish. Brie on the rockfish. I've seen that before. Now, I'm going to cover that sucker. Done. Okay, what I have over here is pears. I was asking about this earlier. You were asking Jump earlier, yes. Right, what pears. we do is a little poached pears. I got a little rice wine vinegar in there. Mm -hmm. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of fresh parsley. I'm going to hit it with a little bit of fresh mint. Sweet red peppers. Like I say, it's already got the rice wine vinegar in there, okay. and I put a little bit of brown sugar in it. Okay. Ah. Oh. So basically, what I've done is just made a really quick pear salsa so this is kind of healthy okay all right all and right. it's maximizing your fall veggie okay all right like it so what we have is over here underneath bowl number one. Oh, what is it i don't know come on out please Arr. okay perfect okay what? now you know what that is right looks like uh I don't, no i don't know what that you're is. from all over the place <laughs> that's what i call redneck risotto so basically what it is is asiago <laughs> cheese grits <laughs> Okay, so it's stone ground grits. grits I got you. I made got you. just like a risotto. Okay. And that is going to be our starch. And you're going to put the rockfish on, the side. on top of that. Yeah. Ooh, that looks really, really good. Looks nice, doesn't it? All right, so what's coming up at the restaurant? You got something going on this weekend. Whoa, baby. Oh, what? Are you okay? I'll be okay. Oh, wow. And that's... I didn't even cuss or anything. I'm no, doing really I'm good. No, I'm very <laughs> proud of you. Ed. The flame went. <laughs> okay, so I'll put that right there. Okay. Wow. That's why it's named for you. It's got a little <laughs> singe to it. Yeah. Got a little heat to it. And I put the pear salsa right on top. And that's that. Do we need your... Uh, I'm going to use it out of the squirt. Oh, the squirt. Okay, better. but you're just showing us how to make it. And then we garnish it like that. It's got a little spice. Man. That stuff's good on everything. Yeah. Boom. So there, 
First base taken with your eyes. Beautiful presentation. What's going on in the Outer Banks? we got a marathon coming up this weekend. It's a great weekend to take mm -hmm. a bait, uh, break in your own backyard. Yeah. Come down to see us in Duck. A lot of restaurants open still in Duck. We're open seven days a week, lunch and dinner. Okay. Call us at Red Sky. You want us to come cook for you for Thanksgiving. Anything you want, we're there. All right. You see the number there, 252-261-8646, Red Sky Cafe in Duck, North Carolina. They are a day trip away in the lovely Outer Bank. Chef West Up, thank you so much. You brought a feast, and it looks magnificent. Of course, we can't wait to taste this when we're done. All right. You got Fist it. Fist bump on that one. You Good got job. It, <laughs>